Hello, hello everyone. It's Connell Finlay here, the owner and director of The Seller Store down in New Zealand. And welcome to today's episode of The Seller TV. So today we're going to be trying a really quite exciting red wine and one of my favorite uh, all-time producers uh, up in Washington Valley, uh, well, Washington State, Columbia Valley, <laughs> looking at the label. Uh, anyway, here's a little close-up shot for you. So it's the Chateau Saint Michel, and many of you are probably familiar with their uh, wines if you're from Washington or even if you're from around America. They've got quite a big presence around there, and it's rightly so. They're actually the founding winery or they sort of stemmed from the founding winery, the Washington State Growers, uh, back in the late 1880s, perhaps? Anyway, they've been going around for a very, very long time. If you think of Oregon, which is just next door, state just down below, uh, between California and Washington there, uh, if you think of Oregon, they've only really been going around since the mid-1960s and so Washington State they've actually been making wine up there for a very very long time compared to them uh, sort of between two to three times as long uh, which is quite exciting and as I say Chateau Saint Michel and basically one of the founding wineries uh, was stemmed from the founding winery the Washington State Growers um, and so this is their uh, Indian Wells it's a single vineyard wine sourced from one of their top vineyards uh, devoted purely to uh, Cabernet Sauvignon in the Columbia Valley. So Columbia Valley is basically the, well, it's the leading um, uh, sub-region in the, uh, yeah, in the state, basically. So this is pure Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from the 2013 vintage. And uh, let's give it a sniff. Mmm. Very ripe. Very ripe. I love it. Mmm. So many of you have probably noticed, why is he drinking a Cabernet or a Bordeaux sort of wine in a Burgundy glass? Uh, well, it's because I prefer to have these much bigger bolts, uh, especially for reds. Um, reds and certain white wines, like a Chardonnay. Um, generally speaking, just because I think it brings, uh, brings out the aromatics a little bit more, especially for something that is so big and juicy uh, as this, that I think it sort of deserves having a little bit more space to sort of air out, open out. We have decanted this an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes ago, perhaps. Um, yeah, well, at least an hour and a half ago. <laughs> uh, so it is a, becoming a little bit more open now, which is good. So as I said, so definitely a lot of sort of those black currant flavors, a lot of black cherry uh, in here. But a real, a real amount of oak presence is is in the wine but I have to say it's sort of done in this really really well balanced way it's not big and oaky 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 it's definitely very very fruit forward with a lot of those sort of black fruit flavors as I was saying some sort of cherries and currants and uh, a lot of well a bit of bramble there but very 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 um, very much on the black and blackberry uh, sort of spectrum but there is that oak presence there which is lovely because it's sort of just rings around all those berries and just sort of shoves it all into one and sort of brings it all together in this lovely Cabernet Sauvignon package. So you are getting these very, very sort of toasted vanilla bean uh, sort of flavors. A lot of these sort of, well, a little bit of coffee flavor here. Um, definitely quite intense. Very, very um, aromatically wonderful, I have to say. It's definitely Cabernet Sauvignon. If you got this in a blind tasting, uh, then you'd know it was a Cabernet Sauvignon. We have a lot going on here. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. Very, very well balanced. Anyway, let's give it a let's give it a taste. Mmm. 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 So very rich. Very rich on the palate. A lot of fruit sweetness here because it's very, very ripe up here. And it has to be said that the Columbia Valley, which is quite interesting because even though Washington is directly uh, south of Canada, uh, and it does get quite cold up there, especially sort of around the north of the state. But I have to say in the Columbia Valley, it's actually almost desert, basically. So it can get very, very hot up there. So most people think that California gets very hot and you just get cooler and cooler and cooler. And in Oregon, you certainly can. But in, uh, as I said, Columbia Valley, where it's sort of half desert uh, in, in Washington state there, it does get very, very hot. And so this is what allows for such fruit ripeness and fruit sweetness here. That being said, there is enough acidity here to sort of balance it all out 
bring it together, as I said, in this beautiful little package of Cabernet Sauvignon. On the palate, you definitely are getting a lot of that sort of oaky sweetness, that fruit, um, that sort of oaky fruit sweetness coming through as well. So you are getting a little bit of the sort of, I don't like a, a malted caramel, sort of dark caramel sort of flavor coming through that sort of just rides on. A little bit of licorice here. Definitely a bit of bramble was coming through there when I was tasting it a second ago. A lot of black currant, uh, black currant, blackberry. I have to say those are the two main standout uh, points for me. Uh, but there's definitely a little bit of the sort of dark chocolate, um, the sort of to toasted vanilla uh, bean flavors coming through as well. It's lovely, really. I mean, if you like a big, juicy sort of uh, red wine, something that you'd probably get uh, from something like Australia uh, or South Africa, perhaps, but you're wanting to have a slightly more I don't know, different start, uh, take on it perhaps, uh, then this is absolutely the red wine to go for. So look out for Chateau Saint Michel. Um, we've got all the, the details below, we've got the URL that you can take you straight there. And so you can buy yourself a bottle. This is going to be uh, something that's going to age really, really well as well. Uh, I'd say it's definitely got the structure to age for at least sort of six to ten years, I'd say, in your cellar. That'd probably do you really, really, really well. Um, yeah, I mean, all in all, it's just a delicious red wine, and there's nothing else much you can say about that. It's just really, really nice. So please do like away, comment away, tell us if you've tried this wine, any of the other, any of the uh, other Chateau Saint Michel wines, or anything else from Washington for that matter. If you've liked them, if you've not liked them, if not, why not? Uh, we want to hear about it, so please do, and then subscribe. That is much appreciated from everyone here on the team, me especially, uh, and then share away. Share away with all your other sort of friends and family. Wine-loving wine friends and family, of course. And so, of course, first and foremost, cheers.